We have Oracle networks that are focused on the highest quality node operators possible. And we're actually, I think, known in the blockchain industry for having the highest quality validator set out there in terms of actually verifying, you know, Oracle reports and, and so on. The node operators are actually a composition of crypto teams that have historically secured billions of dollars in value. And they do something called staking and mining on many other chains. So we know they're able to properly secure um, a system responsible for triggering smart contracts already. And then interestingly enough, we have a certain amount of enterprise validators. One notable example is T-Systems, who is part of Deutsche Telekom. And it's that kind of enterprise size now that we see interacting with us about becoming a chain link node operator. And Deutsche Telekom's T-Systems is already a node operator and has already been a node operator. And they've successfully delivered uh, very large amounts of data over, over a very long period of time. So could I become a node operator? You absolutely could become a node operator. It would be a very intense job because you would need to be available 24 hours a day. You would need to integrate multiple APIs and you would need to be a security and DevOps expert. We do have node operators that are much smaller in team size, but those people are usually committed completely to operating that node. Generally speaking, node operators in our universe are assessed and ranked based on on-chain transactions. So the, the fascinating thing about our system is, is actually that we create an on-chain reputation that proves what nodes committed to do and also proves what they did. If you have greater and greater amounts of value within a, a smart contract, you end up being able to choose better and better nodes over time. So if you have a system that proves the quality of individual node operators, you have something that allows people to compose bigger Oracle networks, but also more secure Oracle networks because the historical nature and the ability for node operators to prove that they've committed to and will continually deliver high quality data, I think is actually very important.